like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Where are we, Kelly? We're here in Old Goucher, uh, 23rd and Charles Street, between Charles and St. Paul. And we're in the outdoor seating section? Of Dutch Courage. Okay. Dutch Courage, it's one of the uh, uh, new um, establishments that we've opened here in the neighborhood in the last two years. So we've been on an initiative to open um, a number of new spots, night spots, bars, cafes, restaurants, really to enliven the neighborhood. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're proud of these guys. They've been doing really well. Kelly, you told me you've planted over 800 trees. Yes, that's right. Over uh, and Old Goucher, let's get the, the uh, borders again. So uh, on the south, we're 20th Street to 25th on the, in the north, Howard Street to uh, Guilford Avenue. So our main streets are Maryland, Charles, St. Paul. Okay, w what do you see happening in the city over the next four years? Say COVID has impacted us tremendously, things yes. will slow down, projects, I think things are going to slow down uh, tremendously, but I also think that um, that slowdown is going to lead to a lot of opportunity in the city uh, for young people, for groups that have been uh, disenfranchised and marginalized. If they really seize the moment and, and, and pull themselves together to make some things happen. Okay, are you running for governor? I, I am not. <laughs> no, no plans to run for anything at this at this juncture. What would you like to see in Old Goucher over the next four years? I'd love to see this become a hub for uh, black art, entrepreneurship, and enterprise. You, That's what we've been working on. You said you have been you've been witness to artists moving to this area yes. from around the country? From around the country around the country and we're working with a, an amazing artist collective now um, a group of artists from uh, yeah, different parts of the US some of the most prominent artists and uh, we'll hopefully be able to announce more about that soon but uh, I, I have to ask you and I haven't in a minute but art Basel yeah right whatever what, what's the status I mean, I don't think that they're going to have an Art Basel this this uh, year. It, it's a it's a big art festival that takes place every year. And uh, the one in the U.S. is in Miami, Art Basel, Miami. What's the lady? Uh, Mira Rubel. Yeah, you brought her here to Baltimore, right? <laughs> yeah, I've, I brought Mira around a few times, and uh, Mira is a is a friend. She's been um, really supportive of of things that we've done here, but it's. Uh, yeah, it's funny. It's uh, we we often find ourselves getting more support from people outside the city than we can from folks in the city. So at some point we just, we just said let's let's go out and see see what we can dig up. You know, who's going to appreciate this neighborhood and appreciate what we're trying to do over here. So the next four years, you see uh, belt tightening, and if anything's going to happen, it's going to because it's going to happen because people do it themselves. Because people do it themselves. I think it's time for the communities and people in the city to stop waiting on a developer, stop waiting on a university, stop waiting on the city or the state government to come in and do something, even if it comes to your own block. Stop waiting for someone to come in and, and plant the tree, take up the concrete and plant the tree on your sidewalk. It's not going to happen. You know, you need to go out and do it. Um, Any advice for people who think voting for a particular presidential candidate is, you know, that now now the job's over for anybody who think that that's all you got to do. Oh, I mean that's that's not that's a that's a just a basic. That's that's not anywhere. That's not even a one percent of the job. And I think uh, I think moving forward because of the the tightness we're going to see in these federal budgets, especially. Um, we all may feel good we got a new president coming in, but that president is not going to impact your day-to-day -day life, you know, on your block in Baltimore. That's going to come down to you and your neighbors and the human capital that you're able to pull together to get some projects off the ground. And let me just say one, one other thing. I think um, I'm encouraged that people are starting to think more in terms of human capital in this city. I'm seeing that among young people especially than in terms of money. I think one of the places we've got really sidetracked in the last several decades has been thinking that you have to have money. You've got to have, you know, a grant. You've got to have some financial resource to get something done. And I'm proud to say that we have done every, everything we, we've, we've done now. Money is starting to come into the picture. But everything we got off the ground here, we got off the ground with no money, you know, no financial resources. Really just us going out and getting neighbors together and just doing things. You know, week after week, month after month, over a period of years, that builds into something uh, significant. How can people get in touch with you, Mr. Kelly Cross, Old Goucher Community Association? Um, president at uh, oldgoucher.org. 
That's O L D G O U C H E R dot O R G. Um, or uh, just go to our website, uh, oldgoucher.org, or our Facebook page, uh, Historic Old Goucher. Good deal. Thank you for all that you do to make Baltimore a better place. Mr. Thank Kelly you. Cross. Keep watching bemorenews.com. The news before the news where we uncover the truth. <laughs>